Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to give you a brief introduction to modes. More specifically, the modes from the major scale. So what is a mode? Well, let's start off with a C major scale, which consists of all the white notes. Now, what actually makes this a C major scale is the fact that we are treating C as the bass note, or the root of the scale. But what we can do is change the root note, so let's make it a D, and just build that same collection of notes from D to D instead. And when we do this, we actually get a very minor sounding scale. And although we are essentially playing the same notes as in the C major scale, we are playing a different mode of the scale, which results in a completely different sound. So again, we could change the root to say an E, and then build the notes from a C major scale, starting and ending on an E. And this gives us quite an Eastern kind of sounding mode. So we can carry on and do that with each different note as the root, and each one creates a very unique sound. And even though they are all essentially made up of the same collection of notes, each one has its own unique character. So what we're going to do now is go through each mode, and I'll explain each one in a little more detail. And another thing to remember is that I'm going to treat C as the root for all of these, so you can clearly see which notes have been changed to get each mode. So let's start with mode 1 which is called C Ionian. Now this is just a fancy way of saying C major, so this mode shouldn't need any explaining. Moving on to mode 2, this is called the Dorian mode. So to get this scale, there are basically two ways to think about it. The first way is just to think of it as a C major scale, with a flatted 3rd and 7th. And the other way is to ask yourself, what major scale has C as its second note? And the answer is B flat major. 1, 2, So what we can do is play B flat major beginning and ending on the note C. Both of these methods give us the Dorian scale, but eventually we really want to know each mode as its own unique scale without thinking about any other scales to help figure it out. So, the Dorian mode has a minor sound. Some other characteristic chords would be the major flat 3 chord, and then the minor 5 chord. The Dorian mode is a favourite of a lot of people, and has a really nice sound. The next mode will be C Phrygian. This is the third mode of the major scale, and it has that flat 9, which gives that, that very distinctive Eastern sound.
So the Phrygian mode has a flatted 2nd, 3rd, 6th and 7th. Or we can ask ourselves what major scale has the note C as its 3rd degree? 3rd because it's mode 3. And the answer is A flat major. So if we play A flat major starting and ending on C, this also gives us C Phrygian. The characteristic chords for the Phrygian mode are the minor 1 chord, so C minor, and also the major flat 2 chord, D flat major. Moving on to mode 4, we have the Lydian mode. So this is just a major scale with a sharp 4. Or the G major scale beginning and ending on C. Exactly the same thing. This mode has a very bright sound, and it's used in quite a lot of TV shows and film music. That's just one example of the Lydian mode used in a popular theme song. So some characteristic chords of the Lydian sound would be the major 1 chord and the major 2 chord. The next mode is called the Mixolydian mode. It's the fifth mode of the major scale. And it's just a major scale with a flat 7. Or an F major scale. Starting and ending on the note C. This mode is used in blues quite a lot, and it's also used in jazz to build up tension on dominant 7th chords. Some characteristic chords of this mode are the major 1 chord, the major 4 chord, and the major flat 7 chord. Moving on to the 6th mode, we have the Aeolian mode. So the Aeolian mode is just a fancy name for the natural minor scale, so it shouldn't need much explanation. Some characteristic chords for the Aeolian mode would be the minor 1 chord, the minor 4 chord, and the minor 5 chord, and also the major flat 6 chord, and the major flat 7 chord. So moving on to the final mode, we have the Locrian mode. So this is the seventh mode of the major scale, and it has a flatted second, third, fifth, sixth and seventh. Or you can think of it as a C sharp major scale, beginning and ending on a C. Now, this mode is not very common in popular music, but it is used a lot in jazz. For example, over a minor 7 flat 5 chord, But I'll go into more depth with this mode in another lesson. 
So if you've made it this far, well done, because that is a huge amount of information to learn, and we've just scratched the surface of modes. So I will be releasing a video on each separate mode to give you a more in-depth understanding of each one. So I hope you found some useful information in this lesson. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this one. And I release new videos every week, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those. And I will see you in another video.